Hey there, the Gaming Atheist here again. And, wow, how long has it been since I did something about video games? Hmm? How long has it been? I don't know the exact number, but it know it's been a very long time. So, uh, you can tell from the title of this video, we're about to do just that. We're about to talk about the Zelda timeline. Now, if you've, you've been living, uh, living under a rock for the past couple of months, um... Or you just not in? Or you're not really big in Nintendo or whatever. But I hope, of course, I hope you. Or I hope anyone who's watching this video is big in Nintendo and big in the Zelda as well. As well, uh, Nintendo and AGI Numa released the uh, visual timeline for the Legend of Zelda series. And if you're not familiar with the timeline or you need a refresher, well, I posted the link below my video so you can, um, you know, look down there and uh, yep, just. Yeah, go there and you can check out the timeline, and it's all and it's all of its glory. Now, what I want to talk about about the timeline is not so much the, the timeline in general, but mostly like where it splits off into three right after Ocarina of Time. And I want to propose a question in a while. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna pro propose a question in a while to you guys. But before I do that, I want to talk you know I want to talk about the timeline in general that timeline mainly you know discussing my feelings. Now some people think it's kind, of, it's kind of, yeah, it's it's a little quest, it's pretty questionable. To me, I think it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, you know, I do have some questions about it. I won't admit that much. But at the same time, I think it's actually, I think it was actually pretty brilliant because with time being like the main concept behind Ocarina of Time, it also sets up a lot of possibilities, a lot of scenarios that can be created from you know the passage of time. Seeing as Link is the hero of time, there's a lot of there's a lot of scenarios he can create, you know, and there's like three scenarios right here that have, that have been created. Like there's the um, there's like there's a possibility of him being defeated, uh, which leads to the game, which leads to the um, the occurrences in games like A Link to the Past, uh, the Oracle games, Link's Awakening, the first Legend of Zelda, and the Adventure of Link. Yeah, so I had to. I had to think about that for a minute. That one for a minute. Then there's two scenarios where he where he's successful. You know, he, he actually succeeds. Uh, there's and then the, one of them is he said he says to go back to his childhood, which leads to the creation of game, which or the, the scenarios in games like Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, and Four Swords Adventures. And there's a possibility of him staying an adult, which leads to the creation of games like or the or not the creation. But the um, scenarios in games like The Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks. And this is actually very, very unique. Now, some people say that the Heroes Defeat timeline is kind of a cop out. But considering that, um, that Zelda is kind of like a saga or a chronicle of, some, of sorts, or, you know, that's, if, I could, if I could discuss any bit of that, uh, it's, the series is, that, is that's not really incomplete. It's, 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 or, it's, or, or actually, it is incomplete, sorry. It is. It actually is incomplete, you know, and kind of creating a defeat scenario. But it makes a little sense because it, it does lead to the ceiling war that happens like before, uh, only to the past. So that much I can that can be said. But at the same time, well, well, I don't know, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, actually, I actually do know. But at the same time, it doesn't have to necessarily like mean like Link is, is necessarily killed by Ganondorf. It, it can mean a lot of things, like Link either checking out when he was about to grab the Master Sword, or he, uh, or he uh, never got released from the Sacred Realm as an adult. He never did get released, or just some kind of scenario that he just that he would create that part. It doesn't. It, it, I think you know the hero's defeat kind of. It's a broad generalization, if anything. It doesn't necessarily mean he has to be killed by Ganondorf, but just... I guess it just basically means that he, it could, anything could have happened that would lead to the first scenario of you know, which would lead to the games like Link to the Past, the Oracle games, Link Awakening, and so forth and so forth. Um, that said, said, uh, I, um, I actually, I actually kind of like, I actually kind of like this scenario, because it, it definitely is a definitely like that scenario because it does lead to some of my more favorite games out there. We have, I like the Link to the Past and I love the first Legend of Zelda. 
I like the Lincoln. I have played a little bit of. It's pretty good. I need to I need to get that to play more. But I got I got the DX game on my 3DS downloaded. Uh, I played Adventure of Link. It's okay. It's not my be not my favorite Zelda game. And I'm hoping to play the Oracle game sometime. I'm hoping that they'll become download downloadable to the 3DS. I'm hoping very soon to the to the e come to they'll come to the eShop. Anyway, that's what I hope for anyway. Now, as for the hero success, um, I. I can kind of follow the, uh, you know, now, and if I, if I had to support two of the uh, timelines in this, these separate timelines, I had to support the hero's defeat and the hero's success where Link goes back to being a child. You know, because like I said, those have some of my favorite games. I want to list some of the ones I really like on the, uh, the first timeline, the hero's defeat timeline, and the uh, hero's success child era timeline. I like, well, I haven't played Force Wars Adventures. I need to play that sometime. Hopefully, the Wii U will. Have a version of Four Swords Adventures, and it also, but it, but it does have Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess, and I want and I love both those games. But at the same time, but also I support. I, I really have to say, in some ways, I kind of support the uh, the Hero Success Child er the Child, Child Era version of the Hero Success story uh, as canon because. Well, for one thing, uh, Majora's Mask is, is is the direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. It's supposed to be a direct sequel. It takes place right after the happenings of Majora's Mask, whereas, you know, because and, 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 and Majora's Mask actually takes place right after the happenings of Ocarina of Time. Sorry, Majora's Mask actually takes place right after the happenings of Ocarina. It probably takes place even more so than uh, I mean, because Wind Waker is supposed to be a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time as well, but. I think Majora's Mask is, is more true to that. Is more true to that because remember at the end, at the end of Ocarina, Link goes back. You know, right at the end, if you beat the game, you know, Link goes back to being a child, and he's a child, you know, in Majora's Mask. So that's what I believe. That's that's my firm belief. And also, uh, now in, in the uh, now in the beginning of the story, right after Scarlet Sword, you know, the Minish Cap takes place right after that, and then after that comes the original Four Swords. You know, the Four Swords, you know, just classic, I guess you could call it. And they all, and those two games have the Wind Mage Vati. Yeah. They have that dealing. And Vati, both Vati and Ganon appear in, um, when they appear in Four Swords Adventures as the, as the big bosses. So, I, I guess in some ways that, that, that I would say, yeah, uh, that makes the, uh, that particular version of the timeline a little more canon. Than the others, in my opinion, anyway. But like I said, I support both the Child Era version of the Hero Success and and I support the Hero's Defeat uh, timelines because they have some mostly because they have some of my favorite games. I will say that the uh, Hero Success, um, the adult the adult era version of the Hero Success, does have you know does have a little more story consistency, and mainly has to do with the sages, mainly because. You know, in the early to the past, the sages were called wise men, and it's always kind of hinted that these wise men or these sages were Hylian. You know, they're, they're all Hylian because the maidens who you rescue were all Hyrulean. They're all you know have they all human like human like, but have pointy ears. But in uh, but in Ocarina of Time, the sages are like varied. They're varied by, by which race they are. Like you have like now you have Rauru and uh, and Zelda who are kind of like you know uh, well. They're both. You can pretty much tell they're both Hylian. They're that they're very much Hylian. Um, Impa's Sheikah. She's a Sheikah. She's she's kind of Hylian, I guess, but she's but she's really you know. But that's her, her uh, actual race description is a Sheikah. Celia or Celia, whatever you pronounce her name, is a uh, Kokiri. And then you got Darunia, who's a Goron. You have Ruto, who's a Zora. And you have Naburu, who's a Gerudo. See? So, that said, those, um, it, those because the sages are a little, bit, a little bit varied, it's kind of hard to imagine how these, how the, how these maidens uh, and the Link to the Past could be, be descendants of the, uh, of the, say, of the original sages. Reincarnations, maybe. But I doubt their uh, I doubt their descendants. And then uh, and then and there's then there's the uh, Hero Success Child Era version. Yeah, where um, 
we, in Twilight Princess, which takes place right after Majora's Mask, supposedly according to the timeline, um, the sages are actually these ethereal beings. These ethereal kind of ghost-like beings. You know, so I wonder what happened there. God, I just got one. Yeah, I wonder, wonder what happened about with that. Kind of, kind of weird. But maybe they're maybe I guess the power of the original sage just passed on to these ethereal, ethereal dudes and these ethereal, these ethereal guys and just yeah, just I don't know. That's just as far as I can tell. But with uh, Wind Waker, at least um, they, they actually they at least pay respect to the fact that the sages were these these very people. Like, they, they always remind us of who the sages in Ocarina of Time were. Like we had, there was Rawus, Saria, Darunia, Ruto, Impa, and Nabu. At least, at least what else what we can what we remember. And it remind, at least it reminds us of if you went with like the hall where the uh, Master Sword is in Hyrule Castle. So you always remember, them. you always remember that. But that, but as far as that's concerned, that's all I can say. That's all that uh, that the heroes, the the adult era version of the hero success story. Kind of, that's the only part I can really support it as is the kind of is the story consistency. Other than that, the games in that timeline were not my favorites. The Wind Waker was an okay game. It was good. I could I could go through some reasons why why I didn't like it that much. But uh, I'll save that for another video. And Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, eh, it could have been better. But I guess that's my question. That's well, actually that is my question for you guys. Uh, which timeline or timelines that split off that split off after o Ocarina of Time do you support? You know, do you, do you support any of them? Do you support do you support one? Do you support two? Do you support all of them? Do you not support any of them? Um, if if so, if not, you know, whatever. Uh, tell me why, you know, and uh, yeah, tell me which one. Tell me why, and uh, post a comment below, and just let me know. You know. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to ask. Is like, do you support any? Is basically which timeline do you support? And uh, and uh, if you and if you want to, we can discuss this. Uh, by normal, you know. So yeah, that's basically all I want to talk about for us right now. This is basically set up a discussion here. So until then, this is the gaming atheist saying, take care.